is one of many brilliant waste network engineers who work on behalf of Lanes Group and Thames Water. Our customers rely on employees like Annie to assist them when they experience an issue, provide them great customer service and leave their working area clean and tidy when they're done. To do this, Annie is sometimes required to refill her vehicle with water. This is called water abstraction. The safe abstraction of water from hydrants is critical. If not conducted in line with company policy, the consequences such as pollutions, prosecutions, fines and public health implications can be severe. Water companies operate in specific regional areas of the UK. As an employee of Lanes Group, we are free to extract water in the Thames Water region and using a Thames Water standpipe. However, other areas that we work in may also be looked after by other water companies, meaning we need to hold alternative standpipes to abstract from these locations. We must also remember that certain water companies will not allow us to abstract water under any circumstances. So how does Annie abstract water safely? Firstly, she'll need to check that she has the right equipment, such as a hydrant key, which is used to unscrew the hydrant valve and should be stored safely on her vehicle and kept clean at all times. She'll also need the correct standpipe. These come in different shapes, sizes and colours dependent on the water company and feature a double check valve to prevent water going back into the outlet. And she'll need to use the water abstraction activity within Field Viewer to locate a suitable abstraction point and establish which standpipe to use. Now that she's located her abstraction point, Annie will need to set up her site safely by using the appropriate traffic management and trip hazard signs and provide clear evidence of this by taking a photo on Field Viewer. She'll also need to place her safety barrier around the hydrant to protect members of the public and take a photo with the cover still down. Once this is done, the cover can be removed following the correct manual handling procedures. Annie must then check the outlet for any damage or debris then hold a sterilising tablet over the outlet and take a photo to demonstrate the prevention of cross-contamination before inserting and allowing to dissolve fully. She can then slowly place the hydrant key in the valve and turn to allow the outlet to start to fill with water. Annie can now connect the correct standpipe and filler hose, open the inlets on her vehicle and slowly turn the tap on the standpipe to allow the tank to fill. This is a good opportunity to capture a photo of her setup on Field Viewer. Once filling is complete, Annie should slowly close the standpipe and stow away her equipment back on her vehicle. Her barrier, trip sign and traffic management should be left in place at this point. The sterilisation process can then be repeated and captured before removing her barrier. Annie is now ready to leave site and should capture one last photo to show that she has left it how she found it. Your Thames Water Zero Compromise card enables you to stop any activity that can't be undertaken safely. Please don't walk by.